We here, y'all. Comic Palooza. Everybody got their costumes on. It's our first time here, so we're gonna go try to get a seat for the your Game of Thrones panel. You wanna head up? I can yeah. just record while we're going. Up. Collegiate Esports Championship. Let me get on this without falling, y'all. Okay. Oh, you gotta go up. Oh. Oh, look at these setups, y'all. I'm about to jam in there, Oh no, you ain't wanna do this when I try to say you do this. They got Street Fighter 5 at 2. That's the only thing they got today that you would play. Ooh. Yes, for the cosplay. Bitch, they got me tired. I had to walk a whole city block and come upstairs. Can you see everything? Can you yeah, I can see it. I can zoom in. So, what's up, y'all? We at the Game of Thrones panel. I hadn't even started yet. Look at all these people. To see the mother of dragons on my Sunday. Yeah, just in case your gets fussy. Tell me where to sit. Uh, just tell me where it's fine. Ooh, my boy. Oh my god.
first question. First of all, <laughs> you're even more beautiful in person. Absolutely stunning. Thank you. I had my hair done in braids because I could not be bothered to deal with the humidity. Oh no, girl. <laughs> I mean, curly girls, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. yes. Yeah, so now you can live here. You get it. You understand yeah. what it's like to be a woman in Houston. <laughs> So we have to start, y'all, can we just have a moment of silence, Ooh. right? Y'all watched, right? I'm not spoiling anything. Y'all watched. I mean, if you haven't watched it by now, like, why are you here? Right. <laughs> yeah. It's been like a week. Come on. <laughs> so I loved what you did on social. I mean, like, if it doesn't happen, you don't post on Instagram, it never existed, right? But you did such a wonderful tribute to your character. On social media, it was so great. Was that tear jerking for you to write? Yes. No. <laughs> oh my god, I was, yeah, like in my pajamas somewhere, like having a little cry. No, I just, it really felt like appropriate to, you know, tr pay tribute to Miss Sunday and to the show and to my cast and crew and just everything. It was, it's just been the end of such an amazing portion of my life. I feel like I've just, like, grown up properly. I mean, I started that show, I was 23, I think. And then, you know, you turn 30 and you're like, you look back and you're sort of like, oh, wow, that was like special. That was like an amazing experience. And I wanted to kind of, you know, put it out there how much it meant to me. Well, and truly, it is a role that you just finished. It's yeah. not only career changing, but as you're alluding to, it's life changing. What did you learn from your character? What did you channel? <sighs> Oh, how long do we have? Um, no. Well, first of all, she's just incredibly loyal. And, you know, I, I really kind of value that in people. And reciprocity, you know, like somebody who you give them your energy and your love and it's reciprocated. So, and I think Masande embodied that throughout the whole show, whether it was with Grey Worm or with um, Daenerys. And, um, yeah, I really, she's taught me a lot about that, and also just like being really kind and, you know, meeting people where they're at and supporting people, mm -hmm. and um, she's, yeah, that, yeah. It, it takes a lot of energy to be mean, right, as we see in some of the characters out there, but it, yeah. it does, it, it doesn't take a lot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. I don't know, uh, but it, it's, not, drama. <laughs> it it's not that hard to be nice, and I think that's what's really important is not only is your character being the trusted advisor, but sort of the BFF of that world, right? I mean, the two of you are besties. Yeah, um, and also like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's so rare when you see... I mean, I think it's changing now because there's just been this real, like, drive for female leads and Woo! female characters. But it's really, like, I think when this show, when I came onto the show, like, seeing women sort of holding each other up and right. supporting each other and respecting each other as the brilliant, smart women they are, is kind of rare. Usually it's like we're pitted against one another. Right. And, like, actually, we were just like, oh, you're cool. And she was like, yeah, you're cool too. Let's be friends. It's like, <laughs> amazing. It worked. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, <laughs> well, let's rewind a little bit. You came on Game of Thrones season three. I did. What was life like for you prior to season three? Take us back. What were you doing? I was working in retail. <laughs> working retail? Yeah. Yeah, and London. I mean, listen, I had a mortgage, you know, girls got to, like, pay their bills. Like. Right, absolutely, but that was your dream. You wanted the big role. You wanted something well, to break in, right? I, I was a huge fan of Game of Thrones before I was even on it, and I kept kind of phoning my agent. <laughs> I was very out of work at this time. And I kept, like, phoning my agent, being like, there's this show, and she had never heard of it. She thought, I was like, it's got, like, dragons. And, like, she was like, this sounds ridiculous. Um, and then I sort of said like you know if there's ever anything that I'm right for I want to go in for it and you know truth be told like there's not many people that look like me on Game of Thrones and so I was like I know that's unlikely and then I saw a breakdown <laughs> that said um, you know uh, 18 to 25 non-white actress I was like that's me yeah. I can do that I can do that that's me <laughs> And, I, and I'll be honest, I felt like she was mine from the second I saw that. Well, and, really? Um, yeah. yeah. What was the read like for you to go in there? 
to be honest, it was quite t terrifying because, like, when you you love a show and then you audition for it, you're like the pressure is just even more. And um, and I really studied. I did my homework, and I and also they they said, oh no, we just want your natural accent. And I was like, cool. But like, because I'm a nerd, and I'd started reading the books, and I was like, she's from somewhere else. Like, she might have an accent. She might have a something. So I just like prepared the same scene in a slight accent. I don't even know what the accent was. It just sounded like I was speaking English with an accent. And um, so, they, and I phoned my agent and I was like, are you sure they don't want an accent? And she said, no, no, they absolutely said natural accent is fine. And I was like, okay, cool. And I get into the audition and they asked me to do a bloody accent. And I was prepared. I was like, and it's fine. Like, and I was like, okay, girl, this is this is your moment. And so I just did it, and then I left, and I just put it out of my head because I thought, don't obsess about this because you'll drive yourself crazy. And I went back to my life and to my job, and I just got on with it. And for five weeks, I didn't hear anything. I just assumed five it. weeks. Five weeks, yeah. The longest five weeks ever. But to be honest with you, when you're auditioning. Like, if you don't hear anything within, like, a few days even, just say, oh, you've got a callback, or you've, you know, right. like, you've not got it, or if you don't hear anything, you just assume it's gone away, which happens all the time. And, um, yeah, so I just thought it'd gone away. And then I got a phone call. I was coming home from doing shopping, and I had, like, all my groceries, like, in a, like holding about seven bags. And then my agent phones, and I'm like, hi. She's like, you got it. And I was like, I'd been up for, like, a like a commercial or something. And I was like, oh cool, like just completely not realizing she's talking about Game of Thrones. <laughs> and I, she was like, no, no, you got Game of Thrones. And I like just dropped everything. I like cried. Oh my god. I gosh. broke a jam jar. I was like, oh god. <laughs> you know, and it, Nobody needs jam anymore when you're on Game of Thrones. Who cares though? about jam? We don't need it. <laughs> so yeah, and it was like the best feeling ever. Because you know, like it's hard when you love acting, you love being a creative person, and right. you're not getting to do that. It really can hit your self esteem really hard. So the fact that I'd been successful at an audition was first of all like amazing. And I think <laughs> that's really important too to understand is that as an as an actress, I mean it's very subjective. Like you said, when you looked at what the bullet points were for who this character was, well I may or may not fit, but this looks like it's gonna fit. It's very subjective. Yeah, yeah. And um you know they saw so many people. Yeah. They don't mess about when it comes to casting. Me and a girl casting are just like incredible. They they really do, like, they don't just cast anybody. So the fact that they were like, we want you, I was like, Ugh. like, that's amazing. Right? I mean, it's so, and it all obviously is career changing for you. Absolutely. What's next, Natalie? <laughs> what is next, girl? Well, oh, lots of things, hopefully. But um, I just wrapped on um, four weddings and a funeral for, H for Hulu. So that's, Yay! Out, yeah, July. 31st on okay. Hulu. So that's completely different from Game totally. of Thrones. It's like a rom com. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> it's a comedy. Um, yeah, so no one gets decapitated in this show. No, no one. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, guys, that's my one stipulation. Do I keep my head? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, they. It, it's, um, yeah, it's just been lovely. It's written by Mindy Kaling, who's queen. Oh, she so, is, yes. Yeah, and um, it's amazing show to be a part of with such a lovely cast and and then also uh, another Fast and Furious I think is coming Yes. Out. So hard. Like I have to kind of declare that I am not good. If people are laughing, I will laugh. Like there is no like I'm not this like you know actor that's like I'm just in it and I'm serious. I'm just like I'm like if you start laughing I'm gonna laugh. Like I'm not I'm not that strong and that's just who I am. I'm sorry. And so like when you're working with the likes of Conneth Hill and Peter Dinklage. Oh. <laughs> it's impossible. It's hard. And I'd be like, guys, come on now. Like, because then it looks like I'm misbehaving. <laughs> and I, no, I'm like just laughing at you because you're funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so cool to see those outtakes. Yeah, though. we have so much fun together. And Jacob and I, like, we have to play such kind of like serious, stoic characters. And we're not really like that in real life. And so if it gets silly, I can't look at him. Like, we just can't look at each other. Right. 
no eye contact. contact. And we have like these moments. I'm like, Jacob, stop it. Like, look over there. Like, I can't. <laughs> and so that's what we'd have to do. Otherwise, we can't get through it. I think it's so cool to get sort of that insight look <laughs> of, you know, what it takes to put it all together, for sure. And what's so neat is that you and Amelia Clark, of course, Ooh. yeah, you guys are very tight, right? You're, you're tight in real life. I know she can probably see this. But um, I love her so much. Yes, I love her so much. She's so she's so sweet, and we have such a giggle together. And yeah, yeah. What she's I amazing. mean, what I think is great too, and you kind of alluded to this already with the female, the strong role, and having another female that is strong in your um, in the characters together, but to actually like them. Yeah, that's important, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when I came onto the show. We were in uh, Morocco, and Amelia was like the one female character in that kind of part of the world, that, in that part of the realm. Where were we? Astapor or something? Yeah, yeah something. <laughs> Somewhere hot and dry. And uh, yeah, so we, I came in, and she was just like, hi, you're my friend now. And I was like, not expecting that, because we didn't know each other. She didn't have to be so like, open and warm to me like right. she is just that as a person but like you know sometimes you, it takes a minute to warm up to people and she was straight away was just like no nope, you're my friend now so i was like okay <laughs> and, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was lovely and um and the truth of it is we were the only two girls in a very male dominated part yes. of the storyline and i mean yeah she's like the central character of that but just being two girls on set where it's mostly dudes, like, it bonds you a certain way. Like, you haven't seen each other other than a few moments backstage. No, I know, yeah. We just sort of grab at each other backstage. <laughs> <laughs> I, what is that like for you to have not only the trusted advisor, the character, but also somebody that's a trusted friend in your life after this amazing Game of Thrones season? No, I know, it's, it's amazing, it's brilliant, because as Nat was saying, it really is, it's a lot of boys. Yeah. It's a lot of boys for a long time. Uh, and then that came along and I was like, yes! <laughs> okay, good. Um, so yeah, it's really, you know, there's a lot of time on set, there's a lot of time waiting around for stuff, or waiting for a storm to pass, or whatever it is. And so you want to be able to have someone that you can be real with, and, you know, and giggle with, and, and have a good time with. Yeah, at work, right? I mean, yeah. let's be honest, it's yeah. work. Yes. I mean, yeah, it's not a hard, yeah. It's, right. it's a joyful job. So we yeah. already, I, I know there's certain things I can't ask either one of you, but we already talked about the, um, the tribute to your bestie on social media and the character. I mean, other than that heavy sigh that you just gave us, can you give yeah. us a reaction? Well, it killed me. I, because I was watching the episode, because we all, I'm sure you guys know this, but like the cast don't see it until it comes on live on TV when everyone else watches it. So you sort of forget what's in the episode and especially as you're like oh no this is one of the long episodes right okay so i was watching it and um i had this screening and there was a bit it was on it was on a beautiful big screen and all that lovely stuff and i was like oh the credits will roll in a minute and then was like oh my god it's that one <laughs> and then someone was just like everyone was like you're right i'm like i'm fine right. <laughs> you guys don't know what's about to happen already um and uh, it completely floored me and killed yeah. me all over again it was so it was hard enough doing it and that was your last day it was your actual last day, and it's so funny because Conleth, who's always, he's always like, he's always bringing the giggles, always. And me and Jacob were just broken. Yeah. Like Nat left, and we were like, we can't, we can't do this. Yeah. And he was trying so hard to make us happy and make us giggle, and we were just like, wasn't can't. he doing like silly voices or something? No, he was. <laughs> he was like, not even, a, not even like, the glint of a smile. You just couldn't do. It was too sad. Yeah. I know. We're sad, but you know what? We're so glad that both of you are here in Houston to <laughs> amazing conversation. And can we talk for a minute? I want both of you to give um, your input on this one. Can we talk a minute about High Valerian, the language, right? Ugh. Because who knows when you make a mistake? Yeah. I mean, I think there's probably somebody out there that does, but really? Like, David J. Peterson. Yes. Yes. He knows how to say it. Right? He knows exactly. He so. knows all the words. Yes. Yeah. So and like then makes up the song. Yeah. Oh no. How yeah. difficult is it to learn a language that's a language but not a language? It's yeah. It's, hard. it's really difficult because they don't. It's not like learning French or German or like a language, like a language that, that we it, that people speak. Yeah. Um, it's um. You, you, so you don't you don't know what you're saying. So it was only in season eight that we got 
So what we'd normally have is we would have the High Valyrian, Dothraki, Low Valyrian, whatever it is that you're learning, and then the English. And so then you'd have your MP3 and you'd listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, and then kind of learn it. And then in season eight, he was like, oh, no, no, now I'm going to do a direct translation. Because I don't know about you, but I would sort of guess. Like, yeah. I think that word you means start to pick up words, people. Like, or, yeah. you know, like, the Vogelis is yes, exactly. Yeah. Or, yeah. like, yeah. Zaldrize is dragon. Like, you start to pick it up. Right. Right. I'm Do like, yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever yeah. just pull out the language in like the airport or something? Do you just try to like do you know what? The I, I know where to lie. Like early on, like before, like early, early on, I was in a bar once and this guy would not leave me alone. <laughs> he wouldn't leave me alone. And I was like, oh no, thank you. And then he didn't take my so I started speaking, I just started making it up and he was like, so I was like, no English, sorry. And then he walked oh, up to me. I just pretended I couldn't speak English. But I don't speak other languages, I was like, Valyrian, go. Learn it. Just teach me your ways, go. <laughs> I didn't know. I did, so I didn't know that my eyebrows were as expressive as they are until I was like 13. Someone took a picture of me, like back in the before you. With, a you real know, camera reaction yeah. to develop the film. Tell me about it. Yeah. And I was like, six months later when we got the film back, I was like, oh my god, um, what's my face doing? And everyone was like, what do you mean? And I was like, what's my face doing? Because I was in mid-conversation, I was kind of in the corner frame, and they're like, no, that's, that's, that's what your, your face does? Because obviously when you're looking in the mirror, you don't, you know, realise you're not really that, having a chat in the mirror, you don't really see it happening. And it was a shock, and uh, so yeah. Well, so, I feel like you've embraced it, it's a hidden talent, it's so amazing. Thanks. I'm it could be like, Britain's Got Talent, maybe you can go on that show. There we go. At Game of Thrones, Plan you know. B. Yeah, right. Plan B, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we talked to Natalie about what life was like. I mean, clearly, as we already said, this Game of Thrones, career changing for both of you. And starting for me, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, and I mean, where were you when you got the call? When you figured out this was happening for you? Um, uh, well, when I got the the call for the audition, I was um, standing on top of a loo at my workplace, so that they couldn't see if they looked underneath it, and it was in there, and I was like, quiet me on the phone, because <laughs> oh, that was yeah, that like, was like okay. when you're yeah, I was doing lots of jobs to pay rent, and um, and one of them was working at this museum where you just stand around. That's literally all I did. Uh, and so every time my, my agent would call, which was once every six months, um, I would run into the loo and guide him. Um, so yeah, I was I was incredibly unemployed when I got when I got going. <laughs> Me too, sister. Me too. Yeah, there you yeah. Go. To or ever consider reprising your role as Daenerys if the opportunity presented itself. Either way, why do you feel that way? So a prequel right. or something? Or um, well, Nick, thank you for your question. Um, I, I, um, ten years is a significant chunk of life to yeah. live with one character, and I feel unbelievably lucky to have had the full range of everything that I've that I've been able to explore as an actor through her eyes and walking in her shoes. And I really feel like that beginning, middle and then when the season is finally done, that that's that's a lot. So I would that's a that's probably a no. Because right, I think that right. time to put you know I, 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 yeah I also think that David and Dan are the just the geniuses of this world and if they ain't doing it, then right, then you're gonna follow. Okay, you know absolutely. I mean? they're, they're my, they're my people. <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes when we, when we do like a really big wide shot, and you know they're not listening to your microphone, or if they are, they're giggling because you can't see what you. I would, I would do. You do all the actions of like very serious, but actually you're doing like a ludicrous lyrics. <laughs> and, and Jacob's like standing next to me, being like, "You're making me laugh." <laughs> Can yeah. we get a taste? Do we get a little something? Yeah. That's just so good. Put you in a spot fine now. Sorry about that. It's so good, I don't want to leave, so I've got to no, 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 no. What is your fantasy? <laughs> I can't continue. That's the only vaguely PG version of that rise. It's a ludicrous rise. Okay, so yes. we love that you fly on the dragon, of course, but it's not as cool, right? Filming it? What, no, yeah, so it has, it's soon as you do the air. The first one is cool, but genuinely, it's like for each minute of dragon riding, or even 30 seconds of dragon riding, that's a week of filming. A week? Oh it's mental. And then they're like, and then so you're, and then there's a lot of like, 
Um, no, you, you've got to, because the, the, the thing is programmed, the, the buck is programmed. And it's literally a buck, like a green it's buck. It's a buck, and it's super, super, super high up, and then there's a woman with kind of a joystick situation. She's got, the flight path is pre-programmed. Oh, of course it is. Um, and there's a lot of, now the buck, in the last season, it's got three individual pieces that all move kind of independently of each other. So, you're on it, and I get a lot of, no, but you're doing, you're telling the dragon where to go. I'm like, well, when you've got 20 moves of all of these individual pieces, and I've got to remember where each of them go, so it looks like I'm the one who's, <laughs> who's doing it. Yeah. It can, yeah. And then every once in a while, it just in the last season, it got a bit tired, and it just started to like go as I was getting a note, or as I was like getting off the thing. And you'd be like, whoa, that's a thing I'm harnessed in. Am I right in saying though that we would wrap and you would be there for like another month and a half. Literally a month like and a half. Like everyone else would go home for yeah. Belfast. I mean, yeah. Just a rat to, and to do all that? Yeah, so um, it was MoCo unit, which is um, open capture. Uh, and uh, and there, was one, there was one season where everyone, all of the crew who were there and me, who was the only person who was doing it that, that season, there was kind of two months of it. And we called it the infirmary because as soon as everyone got sick, and then as soon as the first person who got sick got well again, the last person who got sick would make them sick again. Right. <laughs> it was Dark times. Yeah. <laughs> the center at Golden Free. I want to stop. Get that for me. I'm sorry. This thing has stopped recording. Okay. So, what you want to get? Because I can't even. I can't even. How much are those over there? So, the normal ones are. Well, I have everything on normal. Okay. And most of it in holographic. Okay. And those designs on scrolls, those are the only ones. I these right here, yeah, those are signs. Yeah. And I, I know have I want. Where if you get a scroll, it's 40, and then the normal ones, like this one, become five dollars, and the holographics become 10. Two. Okay, yeah, I see the wall scrolls are 40 each, or you get two for 60. Two for 60. Do you have a business card by I don't, but that's the my regular Instagram. post is a three for thirty. I'm reading it. Like Get his Instagram. Yeah, I'm gonna so, because <laughs> you you ain't Houston, right? Yeah. No, I'm from Brownsville, Texas. Brown, it's Brown. way down south. Brownsville. Where's Brownsville? Brownsville wow, he is said by down South Park Island, way down south. Ah, I know where that is. I want three of these though. I just, I don't know if I want the holographic because I don't want them to like can, when they I in the background. Take both of them so you can choose. Okay. Do you have uh, something to put it in? Like something? Yeah, I can sleep. Yeah, he got the yeah, sleep. Sleep. Oh, yeah, so but this is back. good though. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. I don't know if I, who I want to get though. Right, because I'm in love with that but You know how I feel about Vegeta, so that wall scroll, I might have to get it. I, I don't see Goku up there though. I already sold that. He's sold only out. Have, like, five of each, and I have oh. already sold them. Yeah, they I'm got the group over out. there. Oh, they got uh, my hero too. I didn't even see them back there. So I might have to get. I might have to get freezing. In. You sure you don't want to get it now? Because if he already sold out, like you don't know if we come back later. Because the wall scroll should be fine if you roll it up. I know the posters. You don't want to get messed up. Yeah. Well, so I, you, I've been holding stuff for people. I just get their phone numbers. And sometimes they'll go away and forget. Okay. Do oh that. well, yeah, we can do that then. Oh. Which one you want? Hey, y'all, check it out. I'm getting that shit my golden freeze. Up. This is the first time me selling them. So oh. the colors they just pop. Yeah. Because it's like hard. It. This is party so you can like wash it. And so. Don't watch it though, because oh, those colors just pop. Yeah, like, I like these. I'm going to come back and get some of these. How much of these if you get both of them? Yeah, after, after those schools, are the schools are in the normal survival. Yeah, I'm going to get Halloween. So when you get there, you get a deal. Yeah, because yeah, I can make a deal. I can't make yeah, a deal. Can, give me the flash. Yeah, that's so cool. Oh, I'm so, sorry. I just wanted to flash yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, the flash so, one, the flash so, one is so, considered so, a normal. A Do you have a normal one yeah. as the flash? I want to see what the normal one looks like.
<laughs> what cookie got on? <laughs> They got bigger soup. Oh my goodness, look at that. Venom number one. These batteries die out so quick. Oh, she got a death note. How much that was? They got the death note. Look, it's like a cover though for you, like an actual book. Death note, guys. It's time. And they got the gravity falls book. I wonder how much that is. Oh! Oh my god, I didn't even see him come by. That's wild. Let me take a picture of some of these. Um, no, they have it. Oh, they got the Nikings in on the throne. And no, you can't go. You would not like it. Only 22. 